So here is another quick tip, this time quickly creating sequences, chains of sequences by recording random sequencers into the phrase sequencer from impromptu. For this you can use something like the Turing machine that can generate really interesting sequences that you can then save, record with the phrase sequencer and process in all sorts of ways. You can use marbles or the random sampler from mutable instruments which more, works more or less the same. And of course you can do this with the phrase sequencer 16 which has uh, 16 steps with the phrase sequencer 32, which has 32 steps. And if you feel adventurous, you can also do this with Foundry, which has four channels that you can use and record onto. Um, in this case, I'm just going to use sample and hold, right? That will generate a random pitch sequence. And then I'm going to record with the phrase sequencer 16. My voice is a sort of a 303 voice with a few modules from Vult and the ADDR sequencer. Right, so first of all, what we have to do is set um, the phrase sequencer to autosec when writing via CV inputs. This will make sure that when we reach the end of the sequence, it will advance one sequence and we'll just continue recording like this a few different phrases, a few different patterns. And the pitch I'm going to use is coming from the random um, module from VCV React, which will basically output random voltage. I'm just attenuating it a bit with the VCA, so it's not going too up and too high. Again, this is pitch information. And I'm using a quantizer to quantize it. You don't have to use a quantizer if you don't want to. I like to keep my sequences in scale. So this will go to the CV input of the phrase sequencer. This is what the phrase sequencer will record. And now we have to tell it when, and this we will do through the write input. And I'm just going to use the same clock I'm using for the sample and hold. So now it's recording phrase one, phrase two, phrase three and that's more or less enough for now right so now we have three phrases recorded so if i now run the sequencer with the clock right we have one sequence that then we can again process so for example i can say i want this sequence to be only seven steps long i can add some rests by tying steps so let's say step three i can tie and step, no, step three is enough. I can add also glide or portamento, right? So let's do this here with the slide function and then I can control the length. Let's do this to a different one. Right. Now I can go to sequence two and again process this as well. Let's say I want eight steps. And also here I want a few rests. Right, so let's say something like this. And also here I want some glide. Right, I can also transpose this sequence by transposing it, let's say, seven semitones up. Right, so again we have one. And then two. And then let's say sequence number three will have 12 steps and here we will have a bit more rests, right? Maybe something like this, a few more slides. Right, maybe something like this. And now we can create a whole chain by uh, changing this to song mode. And now in this case, we have four steps for the song. So I can do something like this. I can have one, two, right? I'm just clicking here the steps. Three will be still se uh, sequence one and sequence four will be sequence three. Then we have a chain of three of uh, four patterns or three patterns that one is repeated and we have an interesting sequence that we just use sample and hold to record. 